Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and I'm actually starving. Okay, I'm not actually starving, I'm just really, really hungry. So today, I'm going to be continuing my lyrical analysis series for What's the Story Morning Glory album, and today, this episode, I'm going to be attacking, I think this is episode three, I'm going to be tackling Don't Look Back in Anger, and I know you can't see me, I will flip the camera. Hi, yeah. So I'm going to be tackling Don't Look Back in Anger. Um, which is one of my favorite songs on the album. It's a really good song. It's probably my favorite song we've covered so far, that and Wonderwall. Um, so, um, this one was sung by Noel Gallagher, and, um, of course written by Noel Gallagher. And before I go into this, uh, my analysis of it was apparently the Sally Can Wait thing was originally not planned. Okay. It was a mishearing that Liam did when... And, um... So, yeah, um, which is really interesting, but I still think Sally means something. So, let's get straight into the video. So, uh, the first line, slip inside the eye of your mind, don't you know you might find a better place to play? You said that you've never been, but all the things that you've seen will slowly fade away. Um, this is a lot to unpack, even in this first uh, verse here. So, um, slip inside the eye of your mind, I think that's a really interesting, um, I'm just thinking of those, um, eyes in that dungeon in Skyward Sword I was playing. <laughs> um, but, it's like, what you're seeing in your mind, don't you know you might find a better place to play? So kind of like, almost like you're in your mind, you're like having thoughts you don't want to have, maybe? Um, it's an interesting, uh, thing to unpack. It has something to do with your thoughts, or what's, what you're seeing in your mind. And maybe you're like, wasting time. Like, just thinking, like, idling around. You said that you've never been, but all the things that you've seen will slowly fade away. Uh, not really sure, um, I think this, um, all the things that you've seen will slowly fade away. So again, this has to do with, like, memories and mind here. Um, I'm not really sure how this ties into the song, but I do think that's partly what this is about. And then, the next lines. So I start a revolution from my bed. Because you said the brains I had went to my head. So, uh, that first line there, um, starting a revolution from a bed, I'm pretty sure, um, at least my interpretation of it, uh, based on the video and based on, um, the music itself, um, there's a lot of John Lennon references in this song, which is one reason I like it. So, that could be a reference to, like, the, uh, bed ends, kind of. Um, that's possible. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what that is going for. Um, because you said the brains I had went to my head, which, again, kind of nonsensical, um, like, <laughs> going back to thoughts and brains here, um, how did the brains go to your head? Like, that doesn't make sense, but it's really cool, regardless. <sighs> Step outside, summertime's in bloom, stand up behind, stand up beside the fireplace, take the look from off your face, you ain't ever gonna burn my heart out. So, um, sometimes in bloom, like, hey, stop lying around, don't be depressed, just go out, I enjoy, enjoy the outside, and then stand up beside the fireplace. That's kind of interesting, we were just talking about summertime, now we're talking about the fireplace. Take the look from off your face, you ain't never gonna rip my hair out. So it's almost like, um, almost like comforting someone, almost. Like, um, I love you even though, like, it sucks, or whatever. And then, uh, we get to the chorus. And so Sally can wait, she knows it's too late, as we're walking on by. Her soul slides away, but don't look back in anger, I heard you say. And, um, I know the Sally thing might have been an accident, but, um, I, my dad actually had a really good interpretation of this, which I am inclined to agree with, that Sally is his ex, okay? So Sally can wait, she knows it's too late as we're walking by. So he's walking by with his new girlfriend, who may be the person who, um, is standing beside the fireplace, um, and, um, yeah, so, um, her soul slides away, but don't look back in anger, I heard you say, so, um, maybe she, maybe Sally broke his heart, but then his new girlfriend says, don't look back in anger. Or it could just be a general, like, peace and love hippie vibe, but I think that could be what it's about. It could be about an ex, an angry, angry ex. All right, so um, the next lyric is going to be 
Um, <clears throat> Take me to the place where you go, where nobody knows if it's night or day, but please don't put your life in the hands of a rock and roll band who'll throw it all away. So, um, that first line, take me to the place where you go where nobody knows if it's night or day, um, that kind of reminds me, again, I don't know if it's intentional, but it just kind of reminds me of, like, Beatles lyrics a little bit, um, not specifically, um, anything in particular, um, I guess a little bit like Glass Onion, um, I know another place you can go, I guess another place where you can go where everything flows, and, like, not knowing where it's night or day kind of has that surreal psychedelic vibe, um, kind of like something like Shari Fields. Um, definitely some more Lennon allusions in that kind of lyric. And uh, this line is really interesting. This is one of my favorite lines. Um, and I think I find this extremely interesting. Please don't put your life in the hands of a rock and roll band who will throw it all away, which that kind of sounds like an angry parent, like, don't, hey kid, don't listen to that stupid music. <laughs> So this was always one of my favorite lines. I just think it's really interesting that, that coming from such an arrogant, coming from that kind of rock band, that that line come, came from somebody like Noel Gallagher. I always thought that was really interesting. Um, and, um, yeah, please don't put your life in the hands of a rock and roll band who throw it all away. Um, it could almost be a warning, like, don't, um, like, especially if you have, like, wife or kid, like, families of the rock and roll people deal with a lot of rough stuff. Um, and even going back to John Lennon, uh, Cynthia Lennon, um, don't trust, almost like don't trust because of what happened with her, um, and Julian. Um, so it's almost like don't trust rock and roll band because, like, they're inconsistent. They're, they're bad. They'll throw your life away. They'll, they'll spend all your money on booze and... Yeah. So I think it's a really deep line, which deserves a lot of analysis. Um, could, I could probably make an entire video on that line, just talking about different possibilities for it, but um, for now we're going to move on. So, um, we get a bit of a repeat of the, um, of this part, I'm going to start a revelation from my bed because you said the brains I had went to my head. Step outside because summertime's in bloom. Stand up beside the fireplace. Take the look from off your face because you ain't ever going to burn my heart out. And then, so Sally can wait. She knows it's too late as she's walking on by. So now she's walking on by. My soul slides away, but don't look back in anger. I heard you say so. Kind of a bit of a role reversal there a little bit. So she's walking by them too, and... Interesting thing about soul slides away. I'm never really sure quite what that means. Um, I'm not sure if that's intentional reference to uh, the song Slide Away on Definitely Maybe. Um, but I will say that um, it's a really interesting... Um, it's like you're upset or like heartbroken, kind of. And uh, so we just have, she knows it's too late as we're working by. Her soul slides away, but don't look back in anger, I heard you say. And then, so Sally can wait, she knows it's too late. My soul slides away. Don't look back in anger. Don't look back in anger, I heard you say, at least not today. So, um, <laughs> there's a time to be mad, but not now is not the time. So anyway, um, I really enjoyed doing that. That was a really interesting song to delve into a little bit more. So the next episode was going to, I'll cover Hey Now and Some Might Say. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more of the series, click subscribe. I will keep making these videos, and I'll probably do other songs and albums. Some of them might just be, like, individual songs uh, I like, or uh, breakdown albums. I'll probably do other, but, I, but for, for this in particular, I thought this entire album just had some really interesting lyrics to break down. So, yeah, so I'm going to be making more of these videos in the near future, so if you have suggestions for things you want me to cover that I like, like music I like, I will gladly do it. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye!